After 87 years, the city of Amarillo is permanently closing the public pool at Thompson Park. Thanks for joining us. Andy Justice has this evening off. The city made that decision after numerous inspections, inspections determined the pool was unsafe for use. KAMR Local 4's Chase Horn is live at Thompson Park. That story topping our news today from your local election headquarters. So, Chase, I think the question that a lot of people are asking is, why not just renovate this pool and keep it open? Well, Jackie, they've actually renovated it several times, the last time back in 2003, but because the way the building was originally built and the way those renovations were done, the city really can't go in and make repairs. It would have to really start from scratch, and Parks and Recreation just doesn't have the funding to have a new building at the same site. Closing the pool, not a move the city wanted to make, but officials say their inspections found deterioration of the original concrete and issues with the rebar and supporting structures. Now Parks and Rec is conducting an asset management plan to make sure the situation doesn't happen again. We want to understand what we've got and what condition it's in so that we can really plan our resources and our budget accordingly. To make sure that we avoid uh, situations like this in the future, where we can really plan preventative maintenance, look at repairs and replacement before a, an asset comes to its, the end of its useful life. That asset management plan should be completed by next fall. Now, of the three outdoor public pools here in Amarillo, the one at Thompson Park right behind me actually had the fewest visitors with 14,000 last season, but those numbers were actually increasing steadily over the past three years. Live from Thompson Park, Chase Horn, KMR, Local 4 News. All right, Chase, thank you. The city is hosting a community meeting about the pool closure Thursday night at 6 at the Black Historical Cultural Center.